as evidence for a ninth planet in our solar system grows, a 30-year-old theory about mass extinctions on Earth is resurfacing. Evidence was discovered at the beginning of this year for the mysterious Planet 9, and since then scientists have been looking for signs that could confirm its existence. But the mystery of this planet has now deepened after an astrophysicist in the U.S. has claimed this planet could have provoked comet showers that caused mass extinctions on Earth. Yesterday, astronomer Mike Brown of Caltech, one of the scientists behind the initial announcement of the so-called Planet X, revealed he had found further evidence to support it. The giant hidden planet is thought to sit on the edge of our solar system and is ten times more massive than the Earth, gaseous, and similar to Uranus or Neptune. Now, Daniel Whitmire, a retired professor of astrophysics working at the University of Arkansas Department of Mathematical Sciences has suggested the planet triggers comet showers. These comet showers could be powerful enough to travel towards Earth's orbit and ultimately strike the planet and cause mass extinctions. Whitmire and his colleague John Madesey first published research on the connection between Planet X and mass extinctions in the journal Nature in 1985 while working at the University of Louisiana. At the time there were three explanations proposed to explain the regular comet showers. These included the presence of a mystery planet on the outskirts of our solar system, dubbed Planet X, the existence of a sister star to the Sun, and vertical oscillations of the Sun as it orbits the galaxy. In 1985, an additional planet in the solar system would have taken the total number of planets to 10, as Pluto was still classified as a planet until 2006, X is 10 in Roman numerals. The last two ideas have subsequently been ruled out as inconsistent with the paleontologic record. Only Planet X remains as a viable theory, and it is now gaining renewed attention, the university explained. Whitemire and Matasse's theory is that as Planet X orbits the Sun, its tilted orbit slowly rotates and Planet X passes through the Cooper belt of comets every 27 million years. This orbit causes comets to be knocked into the inner solar system. The dislodged comets not only smash into the Earth, they also disintegrate in the inner solar system as they get nearer to the Sun, reducing the amount of sunlight that reaches the Earth. Scientists have been looking for Planet X for 100 years. While no conclusive evidence of its existence has emerged so far, a number of researchers have undertaken their own studies on the possible planet. Mike Brown and the researchers at Caltech recently inferred the planet's existence based on orbital anomalies seen in objects in the Cooper Belt, a disc-shaped region of comets and other larger bodies beyond Neptune. In 1985, the paleontological record supported the idea of regular comet showers dating back 250 million years. Newer research shows evidence of such events dating as far back as 500 million years. Whitmire and Matisse said the planet would be between 1 and 5 times the mass of Earth, and about 100 times more distant from the Sun, much smaller numbers than Caltex estimates. Whitmire added that what's really exciting is the possibility that a distant planet may have had a significant influence on the evolution of life on Earth. I've been part of this story for 30 years, he said. If there is ever a final answer I'd love to write a book about it.